Continuing our series on range medicine, with me is Dennis Lyons with TACMED Solutions. He is the subject matter expert here, and we're working on one of their exclusive mannequins. They produce these here, they're hyper-realistic, and we wanted to kind of break down some of the more common injuries that you're gonna see out there on the firearms range, which are, of course, gunshot wounds. So we're gonna kind of walk you through some uh, basic tips and tricks. If you want a more in-depth study, feel free to head over to the mountainmanmedical.com website, click the training tab, and under there we've got a free online trauma course that'll teach you how to use all of the items in your trauma kit. So if you wanna brush up, you wanna learn a little bit extra, that's the best way to do that. Until then, Dennis is gonna walk us through some of the more common injuries that we have. So what do you got for us? Yeah, so um, using our using our TACMED simulation um, uh, lower for this, um, for this particular demonstration, we're just gonna talk about extremity trauma in general. And extremities are pretty easy because our, our, our fix for extremity trauma is tourniquets. And we're placing those, you know, in the initial phase of care, we're placing them high and tight because we don't know where the vessel's uh, injured. So we're, we're going high and tight. Later on, we have a better idea, things slow down. We're going two to, two to three, two to four inches above the wound, um, depending on what your, your source is. And uh, we're putting the tourniquet on there. So yeah, normally this thing bleeds and we'll, we'll probably do another, another training uh, video at some other time, but we're gonna use the, the, the soft tourniquet um, produced by us here at TACMED. And so basically, one of, the, one of the things that I always like to do, and we've talked about it in our other videos, is I always have the free running end to the inside of the body. And that, that allows it, that allows me to, I'm basically putting uh, the tourniquet on the same every time, right? And so the nice thing about ours, we have that open loop design where you can, you can run the tourniquet under. I wanna pull the slack out so the slack wedge indicator disappears there on the tourniquet. And I'm gonna turn until the bright red bleeding stops. And once it does, I, I can put it inside the track just as a temporary um, uh, holding if I need to readjust my hands. But my definitive fix for securing this device is the tri ring on the end. So once that's in, bleeding stopped, I'm good to go. For extremity trauma, if I have no other injuries, the one thing I wanna do is cover all these other uh, wounds after I've done my assessment, finished my assessment for massive hemorrhage, airway, um, respirations. And when I get down to circulation, this is when I start thinking about dressing all the rest of my wounds um, before I move on to hypothermia head injury. So this particular one we have, not common to what you're going to see out on the range unless you're, you're shooting loud, boomy things. Um, but, you know, if you do run across this, I'm just going to use our, our TACMED Solutions uh, blast bandage for this particular um, thing. This bandage was designed very similar to the Elias uh, modular trauma dressing. This one was designed, but the wound pad is huge. Um, so kind of the size of what your, your normal, um, your normal uh, abdominal dressings are, but it's designed specifically to cover uh, the stump on, a, on an amputation. So uh, great piece of kit. It's got all the stops sewn in like the normal uh, Elias modular trauma dressings. You can hear them tearing as I, as I pull. And that's so if you lose the free running end of the, of the dressing, it doesn't completely unravel. So, yep. And we're just going to, uh, finish wrapping this dressing, getting it nice and, uh, secure around the limb. And, uh, then we're good to go. Keeps us from bleeding, keeps extra contamination out. Um, and we're good to go. And then I'm just going to secure the pressure bar, secure the pressure bar right there. So that is the blast bandage. I take another dressing, cover this wound up, but that's it. When we're talking extremity trauma, tourniquets stop the bleeding. Let's cover all the other wounds after we've done the rest of the March uh, assessment and let's get this person moved out to definitive care. Love it. Now you guys can see how he wasn't really moving that quickly, but he had this casually pretty much wrapped up within less than a minute and he wasn't hustling that hard. So take your time, take a little deep breath, you have a little bit of a time to get this stuff in place and you'll be able to get that uh, casually wrapped up. And really honestly, the, the only part on this that, that you have the time ticking against you besides getting the whole patient moved is getting that tourniquet on. Mm -hmm. Faster you get that tourniquet on, every red blood cell you save is more red blood cells that can carry oxygen to his brain and, and his vital organs. And we're, we're good to go. Good, love it.